yeah, no engine brake in case of emergency. Yeah, we're only going down this humongous descent here, but whatever. Oh, we're headed down here to the banks of the Mississippi River. I come down here and loaded the other day, and uh, I called and got directions like I normally do. And uh, if I'm going to somewhere new and I'm not really sure, but they told me to go this certain way here and I'm like I don't know about going but if you go up this road to the left here yeah that's the road I come down and uh, it was extremely high it's a ways up there oh uh, but I went through like uh, went through like a downtown through a courthouse square and everything else so it was not really, it may be truck friendly, I don't know. I didn't see no signs said no trucks. Now when I got to that courthouse, I had to make a right or left and it said no trucks turn left. And I looked on Google Maps, yep, sure you don't want to go that way, but you know, kind of sketchy here. Uh, they had a big flood here in 93 and uh, anyway, this town right here, I'm fixing a load right where uh, right where uh, a friend of mine's truck ran off in the river and the guy the guy died he i guess it was at night time or something and he got lost trying to get navigate i don't know what i still don't understand and I, I don't know if anybody really understands what happened totally but uh what happened is he ran off in the river down here it was flooded and he come down a hill off of one of these roads over here and uh basically you know i mean wasn't nothing at the bottom of the hill but water and he couldn't stop and went off in the river but anyway so once we get by this we got to make that left up there right there and uh, once we make that left we're gonna go down there and load all right down the hill we go i want y'all to check this out here it's kind of funny truck one runaway ramp okay so well, number one, they've got it blocked off right there, but uh, I don't see if a truck was running away. Those cones ain't gonna stop nothing, but like, what's funny is there is nothing over there. I guess maybe you ain't going fast enough, you can't make that corner, so. All right, let's see if we can't get over here and get loaded. loading up here got the scale got a guy back in there he's kind of watching us here he's back on that catwalk up there but we're loading on the scale here so we ought to be able to get the front right and finish up getting the back right in the back but these are wheat mid pellets and they are a dusty dusty mess as you can see this is the second load i've hauled of them this week so it's uh definitely a mess and this wind blowing today i'm glad it ain't raining none all right so we made a mess over there at that place oh uh, i forgot to tell the guy and i usually pretty good about telling people this when i'm loading but you know to somebody that don't own a hopper bottom trailer it, it may it won't be a big deal to because you know they love trucks they never unload the trucks. They never maintain the trailer or anything like that. So, uh, what happens is, you know, they'll load the front, and then you come over here and load the front, and you know, you load on this on the inside where it's sloped right here, and you know, it slopes, goes all the way down here, 
they usually start loading about right here and uh, then you go on down and then they put a pile here put a pile here so when you go to the back hopper and you, you're they're loading you in a chute at the top and all that product comes down straight down you know drops you know 10 feet to the bottom down here and lands on your door and it it jams your door up these these doors work on they basically work on a gear track right there they work on that gear track and uh you know what happens is that product comes down and slams on that door and it, it just kind of puts it in a bind so what i like doing is i like pulling up and loading on this slope right here that goes just like that i like loading on that slope and then backing up to uh backing up to finish loading the rest of the hopper here so that's what I like doing, you know, just put a pile on that slope back there and slowly put it just like you do on the front. So anyway, look at that back current right there. You know, this is the smaller part of the Mississippi River. This ain't down like, down like around home, but it's still, I wouldn't be like Alabama. I wouldn't be swimming across the river just to prove I was a man because that, uh, Man, that current looks bad out there. It looks like the kind of stuff that uh, trap you in there and not let you go. But I've seen it like, even like down around home, you know I mean? The river is twice the size down home. And uh, I've seen it just like it. this. I mean, like it looked like, like you flush the commode. It'd be big sections of it just doing this. I'm thinking, man, if you ever got in that, you'd, you'd, you'd be dead. You'd be absolutely dead. But anyway, we are going to say goodbye to the mighty Mississippi here, and we're going to head on down to Arkansas and see about getting unloaded in the morning, go home, work on the green truck, work on my house. Uh, I've had a had a mess with my house, and I'll probably, uh, this video won't get out for a pretty good while probably so like i may have my house fixed by the time this video comes out but then i'll probably say something about because i hadn't I hadn't done a video in a couple weeks now and i've just been been covered up but uh i had a problem with my house uh you know my house is uh it's a 70s baby kind of like me and uh you know it's getting a little age on it now but you know they they plumbed everything in black iron pipe back then and i had a black iron pipe get a pinhole in it and uh it basically uh i say a pinhole it, it had a rust hole in it i'm even gonna call it a pinhole it's probably you know not quite the size of your pinky but uh yeah it was it was leaking and it got all up under my hardwood floor went in my laundry room and like i've got hardwood floor all the way through my house so uh it's a expensive hardwood floor that is discontinued you know they they discontinue that stuff so like when this happens to somebody you can't find it so uh i'm gonna do a search and try and find some uh call around different home depots and maybe 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 find some or something like that but i just i'm just about planning on reforming the whole house but also the drain for my washer is uh I was having it was starting to back up a little bit and uh, I had the plumber come out and fix that and uh, and also he snaked my went in the vent at the top of the house and uh, off, off, off the roof and uh, snaked it and uh, pulled it back out it had some mud on it went back in there and it hung up so he had to cut the lead on a snake so anyway I'm probably going to get involved in some uh busting pipe or busting concrete replacing pipe type deal and uh, it don't look like it's gonna be fun i don't know insurance i don't i don't know i don't know what insurance is gonna do on this so we'll see uh, but yeah i i spent uh saturday before last i was taking washing machines out and dryers out dishwashers out and taking refrigerators out and stove and getting floor up out drying floors uh you know cutting walls out looking for places that you know 
I had problems so yeah yeah it's just been a mess just been a mess here lately so anyway that's uh enough about me and what's going on but that's yeah I had extra things going on hadn't been doing no videos so uh, i've been filming just haven't been editing at that time so all right we're gonna ride on there's the big chester chester bridge over the mississippi you talk about sketch man that thing is like they closed it a few years ago like an emergency shut it down so uh i'll try and get get a little filming going across there it is that thing is shot it is done done i mean you hear me it is done so yeah it's it's kind of sketchy going across that thing it, it i don't know surely they wouldn't let us drive across it if it was about to fall but man that thing is it's served its purpose, we'll say that. So, all right, let's ride on. All right, let's get up this hill that we come down here. I was doing a little research while ago on the flood of 93. And uh, it said that the flood stage had got to 49 feet. And as we cross this bridge over here, it's about... I don't know, maybe 20 feet from the deck of the bridge is where the water level was. So. All right, let's make this turn here and go across this bridge. All right, here we are crossing this Chester Bridge, and I'm telling you what, this thing has been patched everywhere. Kind of sketch, man. I don't know if y'all can see how busted up all the all the curbing is across it right now but oh it's a mess it is an absolute mess rough as a cop too but i guess they're getting underway trying to get them a new new bridge over there next door it looks like it's going to be maybe a little bit higher There we are crossing this bridge. I forgot how, I'm gonna have to do some research and see when this bridge was even put into service. I can't, uh, I can't even remember. The Highway 60 bridge over there, down there in Cairo, I wanna say it was 20 something. And then the bridge over the Mississippi on 55 in West Memphis. I want to say it was 33, so I'm guessing this bridge right here is at least, I mean, it's at least almost 100 years old, so I'll have to do a little searching and figure that out. All right, one last thing I was looking at uh, about this 93 flood is they said this this river valley right here from Chester over to Perryville is like 11 miles wide, and that... Uh, there were houses like two-story houses that you know you can the top story was the only thing visible so that being said that means all that we've seen over there all this would be underwater just absolutely amazing 11 miles across this thing and you know still covered basically a one-story house would not be visible absolutely amazing state line travel center here in Neelyville, Missouri. One of my favorite places to eat, the old Longhorn Grill. We're gonna go in here and probably, uh, it's a little early. Man, I've been snacking all day. I, I drank a protein shake this morning and I kind of been like, I stopped and took a shower after I got washed out this morning and like, it's just like, 
I bought a couple little knickknacks because you know where I was going I was like cutting through the southern part of Illinois going through some BFE and podunk places and I'm like man if I get a little hungry you know and after I get loaded you know it's going to be two and a half hours before I get over to the state line so I give me some knickknacks and I've been over here just I have no willpower I just have no willpower when I got snacks in the truck it's just like you know it's either I'm miserable because like uh, I want to just like a little snack or I'm miserable because I'm just sitting here so anyway after uh, a can of Pringles and this little cup I bought that is like a little parfait cup that was full of uh, little bitty uh, blocks of uh, Rice Krispie treats with fruity pebbles in it it was wasn't bad, wasn't bad, but anyway, uh, I'm fixing to go in here and really eat now, and then not eat nothing the rest of the night. I may take another protein shake, like, later on, if I get a little hungry, but I'm done snacking, done with sugar, I'm fixing to go in here and eat me a ribeye, so, let's go see how this goes, uh, hopefully, it's kind of overcast and drizzling rain, uh, so, hopefully, it won't make me sleepy. I'm not promising anything. I come in here the other day and ate a, ha ate a hamburger and some queso dip, and I was just like, ow. I had to sit out here in the parking lot for about, I don't know, an hour and a half playing on Facebook to kind of make myself kind of wake up. So uh, if it gets bad, I'll grab me a cup of coffee before I leave out of here. But I'm about, I think it's four and a half or five hours where I'm, where I'm delivering to and where I'm going to park tonight. And... Uh, eat and then head that way. All scaled in over here and going back here to where we dump, dodging all the potholes and mud holes and everything else. I kind of don't know about this place. I, I unloaded here earlier this week and the guy told me 7 o'clock. So they start at 7. So I wake up at like 6.45 and there was a truck in front of me in line and he wasn't there so I pulled around the building and seen that uh, the scales were there go in and scale in and come as I'm coming out from scaling in he's coming from back here he'd been already dumped so I don't know I was like we'll try 6 30 I woke up 6 30 this morning and uh, they were there and uh, they had a little cone on the scale like you know like cone's gonna stop a truck but you know you get the drift you know the gist you you don't uh you don't pull up on there so regardless i go up in here and uh in there and scale in while ago and i see another scale ticket there so i'm not so sure there's not another truck back here so i hope there's not it don't look like there is so yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're going to pull up on this pit over here. This muddy, nasty pit. And see about getting unloaded. Here's my guy right here. He's a charmer. Man, everything is a muddy, nasty mess out here. These, uh, you can't open these up. These, these pellets, anything you haul in a pellet form is going to be a little bit heavier and it's going to be harder for these augers to move around and uh, move this product back. So you kind of got to take it easy best you can there. So that being said, I don't know. I'm still going to unlock my tarp because I don't think it'll 
really don't think it will uh, come out of there hard enough to suck my tarp in. But I don't want to take a chance on it. So even though my tarp screwed, apparently I got a little hole in there and the other day and I had to put a piece of tape on it so I could load crazy. All right, let's get this tarp unrolled here. All right, so we got down to where it's just dwindling out of there. So let's give her a little bit more. And this is where you can get messed up real quick is what, what's done here is like we've unloaded like this part of the trailer right here and the door is holding everything on this part, which there's not a whole lot in that part right there. But what it can do is it surge. Like when you open this door, it'll slide down quicker once you want it to. Oh, we're good. But end up, end up flying a bunch of that mess out of there and choking crap down if you don't watch it. So, all right, let the dust settle there and we're gonna move on. All right, well, we was lucky enough to get us a little water hole right here beside the door. Tap our boots in there and get them, get the bottoms good and wet. Go over here and grab the blower. Just like that. Now we can pull, get in here and pull up. Probably ain't gonna be so lucky when we get back in here. But we're lucky enough, there ain't a whole lot of mud there. Trying to walk in this path right here. All right, God, it stinks. Okay, all right, moving along. That's gonna do it. Might be too much. Now we're just gonna watch it, I guess, and make sure it ain't too much. I ain't gonna stand here though. Last thing I want is wheat dust on me. Be itching and scratching the rest of the day. All right. Well, when you unload them slow like this, you can kind of beat around on the side of your hopper that, uh, or the end of your hopper that is that it's pouring from and you can feel the you can feel it getting not near as packed up in there so you know you're getting close and that's a good thing because i'm ready to get out of here i'm ready to go home i got green truck stuff to do and kids and wife that want to see me and this trucking thing's been for the birds this week all right it's coming out slow but i don't really want to go over and mess with it it is dusty as all get out. Waiting on this wind to change direction. I'm gonna go over here and open this door real quick. All right, let the dust settle there and we'll close this thing up. I am officially done with this. Oh, mud hole central out here, buddy. A bunch of old feed dust and mud mixed together. One hell of a smell. So, of course, I get my boots clean, jump in here, and then I look back at my trailer and the air's down. I forgot to air back up, so. I'm just gonna drive across here and drag my mud flaps through all this mud back here because I am not getting out, cleaning my boots again, just to go walk, or not getting out and walking through the mud, just get in here and clean my boots again. I'll get up here to the scale and they got concrete up here, so we'll, we'll go that route. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> 